Hello, everyone. My name is Chun Lim, and I am the principal investigator in this project. I and my colleague, John Torres, are developing mobile technology as a cognitive biomarker for Alzheimer's disease. And we are developing this in collaboration with Penn AI Tech and the A2 Collaborative. We are developing this in an attempt to develop a simple and inexpensive method to diagnose and track Alzheimer's disease in the real world setting. We're hoping that this can be both a diagnostic tool as well as a tool for tracking progression uh, so that A, we can determine when patients are no longer safe to live by themselves, when they have more uh, difficulties doing ADLs, for example, and our hope is to develop a app uh, that will be able to uh, do all of this. My colleague, Dr. Torres, has developed a research and clinical platform called MindLamp. MindLamp stands for Learn, Assess, Manage, and Prevent. It's a platform for capturing both active and passive data on the smartphone. There consists of the app as well as the dashboard where researchers can modify and adjust and collect information. The app itself uh, collects active data. This includes surveys, cognitive tests, and environmental tagging information, as well as passive data such as GPS, call and text logs, and exercise information. Dr. Torres and I have developed a program app called Smart A, which is smartphone monitoring assessment in real time for Alzheimer's disease, and is designed to collect the passive data as discussed, active data, fine grain data, as well as cognitive uh, data, which essentially are pen and paper cognitive tasks that we have translated, transformed to the smartphone. For example, we have developed a Memory tasks, which the ability to change a variety of different things, including the, the number of targets, the number of foils, the encoding uh, or learning trials, as well as the uh, retention interval. The advantage of this task uh, is we are able to capture a variety of different information, both visual memory as well as spatial memory. Uh, and we, if by varying the targets, uh, we can perform this task uh, multiple times, get a better sense of what the true baseline is. Our hope is that patients will be doing a variety of these types of tasks, both memory-based as well as frontal executive-based tasks. We can actually select the frequency uh, of pop-ups. These tasks will pop up on the patient's smartphone app. And in, in this particular example, we, are, we have the digits found forwards and backwards popping up on a weekly basis, the decog and the touch trails popping up on a Thursday on a weekly basis, and the memory tasks now popping up on a monthly basis. But this can adjust and vary based on the information that we gather from our patients. We plan on testing 15 patients with Alzheimer's disease, as well as 15 controls for at least a month and up to 12 months if they are willing, we will be incentivizing them to continue running the app. Our plan is to do machine learning and AI analysis on this information to determine the passive and the active data streams that best correlate with the MOCA and CDR sum of boxes scores, as well as the best distinguish between Alzheimer patients and controls, period. 
Uh, we are planning on doing this analysis with the help and assistance of our collaborators at Penn AI Tech. Thank you.